So, George, another week of pre-season. How preparation has been going for the game this weekend? Yeah, really good. I think, you know, we, we took a lot away from last weekend. There was obviously um, two different teams played two different halves and uh, actually the halves played out very differently. The second half, there was a lot more set piece and the first half, there was a lot more um, running round. So, yeah, we took some good things and obviously we've looked at a few areas where we weren't quite as sharp as we'd like to be and, and we intend on getting better in those areas this week. Yeah, how much time do you sort of spend reflecting on that game last week? Or because we're still in pre-season, you know, do we still focus on ourselves a lot more than you would in a game like in the normal season? Yeah, I think the reality, you know, of, of the pre-season games is you, you, um, you know, you want to try out a few bits that you've been working on, but you also expect there to be mistakes, a bit of clunkiness, and, and that's why you play them at the end of the day to make sure that you can get those out of your system and, and sit down as a group and. You know, everyone, uh, you train a lot in pre-season together and every team ends up looking like a million dollars and then, you know, you get on the pitch and that's where you find out, you know, what's not quite connected. So, yeah, you know, you do you do have to review the game. That's an important part of it. But you've got to move on quickly and just say, right, you know, we knew it wouldn't be perfect, but, um, you know, we weren't expecting that or we were expecting that. And how do we um, improve? And I guess that's why we have games in pre-season, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. There's no... Um, you know, there's no, like I say, there's only so much training you can do against each other where everyone sort of knows each other and, and the boys have brought some great intensity to that. But there's nothing like an unknown getting thrown at you and I'm sure Ealing will mix up a little bit this week as well and give us a few more challenges, which is exactly what we want. Yeah, and talking about the game this weekend, we've got fans back. How exciting yeah. is that? Oh, it, it's brilliant. I mean, it's, uh, it's been a long time coming. I think, um, you know, the players were talking about it earlier. Everyone's just super excited. I think it's... It's hard to remember what it feels like to have more than a couple of thousand people here, you know. And yeah, it would actually be your first time with a full capacity crowd, I believe, as head coach. Yeah, yeah, on, on the Gloucester side of things. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, I, I remember vividly being on the other side of it, but very excited to, to see it. You know, uh, I know it won't be sold out this week, but very excited to see some good numbers through the door. Yeah, and last week we saw around 30 players involved in the game. Is the idea to, you know, get that many people involved again this time a good opportunity to get some game time in the squad? Yeah, we'll have a lot of numbers evolved again this weekend. I think it's really important for us, you know, to, to get as many people out there as possible so that we, we're in a good position going into the season. But it won't be, um, it won't be as clear-cut as last week. You know, one team in the first half, one team in the second half. We're, we're very much working on an individual basis as to how many minutes we think each player needs. And some will be more than that and some will be less. But, yeah, you see a bit of chop and change as the game goes on. And finally... We're, you know, we've got the new pitch here, first game on the new pitch. How excited are the guys to be playing on this? Uh, the guys are loving it, yeah. I mean, we've, we've trained all this week on it and it's, it's an unbelievable surface, you know. It's the best artificial surface I've seen by a long shot. So, boys are absolutely loving it. We've watched it go in piece by piece. So, um, you know, very excited to get out there. And I think, you know, also very excited to be training at King's Home. That's the reality. It's sort of, um, you know, we all know how special it is here and, and we've talked a lot about that in pre-season. But... You know, once you're out there training every day now, it's just a, it's a great setting and, you know, you can, you can feel the history and the, and the sort of, you can feel, almost feel the energy of having the supporters here when, when they're not even here yet. So exciting to do that day to day and then exciting to get to the weekend and, and start getting people back out there screaming for us.